So to ensure the Rebel Cleaner has the proper suction once installed, make sure that the filter has been cleaned and the pump basket is free of any kind of debris. I'm going to go over the installation process of the Pentair Rebel suction side cleaner. Okay, inside the box is the cleaner itself, all the hoses and all the parts you're going to need to install the cleaner with. So the Pentair Rebel comes with 12 1 meter hoses. So the cleaner comes with all the parts you're going to need to install. You have your hose float, you have some eyeball fittings for your return jets, you have the valve cap, you have the regulator valve, you also have the threaded compression adapter for the skimmer, hose protector for the skimmer installation, you have a flow gauge here, you also have a vacuum door lock here for the side port installation, and it comes with one 14 inch lead hose that goes on top of the rebel cleaner. You want to make sure the pool is off during the first part of the installation process. And the rebel cleaner can be hooked up to a side port in your pool and also directly to the skimmer. Okay, so let's attach the hoses to the Rebel Cleaner and get it installed here. First thing you want to do is attach the small 14 inch hose here. You want to make sure it's snugly on the Rebel Cleaner itself. Okay, so next you want to stick another hose section on here. And now we're going to put the hose float 20 inches from the head of the cleaner itself on the hose. Okay, for this you probably need a ruler. Just get a ruler out, measure 20 inches, and then we'll go ahead and snap on the hose float right here at the 20 inch mark. It should go into the hose. Turn it over as you can see it. I'm going to press firmly and that's fine. Okay, now we're going to connect the rest of the hoses and we're going to measure from the furthest point of the pool to get the right amount of hoses to get the rubble cleaner working properly in your pool. Okay, as we're attaching the hose sections, you want to make sure you push firmly. You can even twist it if you need to. Make sure they're tight. It should look something like this with each hose section. I'm going to connect the rubble here at the side port in this pool. So you want to stretch it across the pool and I'll show you the correct hose length. Here it is stretched across the pool. So at the furthest point in your pool, you want to have the cleaner head outside the pool. You want to have the small 14 inch hose. You want to have one full complete hose section here like this. And the rest of the hose just stretch over to the area where you're connecting the cleaner. It's also a good idea to wrap the threaded part with the side port insert. That way it's easy to get off if you need to replace it in the future. Use some Teflon tape to wrap it. Okay, so I'm going to put the side port lock in here. It's very easy, it just threads right in. So go ahead and drop the cleaner in the pool and push down and let all the air out. I like feeding the hoses in like this. It's pretty simple. When you get to the last hose, you should see water come out. It's fully submerged now. The okay, next step is open up this side vacuum lock. You want to make sure that the pool is off during this time. You can use a quarter or you can actually just push back on the back hinge like this with your hand. Make sure the locking side is right here inside the hose like this here. That will keep it firmly in place. And now we're going to pull the cleaner out and we're going to test the flow with the flow regulator that came with the cleaner. If you don't have the flow regulator, if you lose it, you can actually just check the wheel revolutions per minute. That will give you the actual correct suction also. And we're going to pull it out and test the suction. Again, at this point, the pool should still be off, so I'm going to take the cleaner head off. Snap right off pretty easily. So let's attach the flow regulator to the hose here. You want to make sure that it's submerged at all times during this test. You can see the mark right here that you want, are looking for. You want the white part to go right here in between the minimum and the maximum. So that's optimal suction for the cleaner. So we can go ahead and turn on the pump, and we can adjust the suction. We have a side port valve. We can go ahead and adjust it by turning the side port, and we'll open it up right here like this. And you can see that I have it perfectly set right here on the first try, the minimum and maximum flow. That was a pretty good guess. If you don't have the flow gauge, you can also set the Rebel section speed by measuring the RPMs or the revolutions per minute of the wheels. Just go ahead and see that hump right there and you're going to see how many times it passes past the hose here. I'm going to count that in one minute. It should be between 11 and 13 RPMs to be set properly. So just fine tune your side port by turning the valve left and right until you get the proper suction for the Rebel. I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump off. Okay, with the pool off, let's pull the flow regulator out. And then we'll take the hose and we'll stick it back onto the Rebel. Make sure you press down firm. 
the submerged gravel again in the pool. And now you can turn your pool pump back on. So that's the complete side port installation of the gravel cleaner. It's really easy. If you don't have a dedicated side port, I'll show you the skimmer insulation. Remove the basket. You may have one of these diverters on the bottom. You want to take this out. You have this threaded adapter. You want to thread it directly into the skimmer in the suction hole. You also want to put some Teflon tape around the skimmer insert here. In case you have to pull it out later, it'll make it easier to get it out. If you have a two-hole skimmer, usually it's the one in the back. Let me go ahead and thread that in. Okay, so it should look something like this with that threaded piece in there. This will be the regulator valve for the skimmer. You can tighten it up to increase the suction. If you loosen it, it lowers the suction. We'll go ahead and jam that into the adapter in the skimmer. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the skimmer here. Adjust it. And you'll do the same measurement with the hose across your pool with the skimmer installation as you did with the side port. Okay, with the first hose going into the skimmer, we're going to go ahead and remove one hose. We're going to slide the sleeve here that came with the cleaner onto this hose. It should go on fairly easily. This will protect it from rubbing against the skimmer opening. It should look something like this on the hose. So now we're going to take the hose and slide it through the skimmer opening. Okay, we're going to take the male end and stick it into the skimmer adapt regulator. Just make sure the sleeve is on there like that. You can see the tile right here, so it's going to protect the hose from rubbing when the cleaner is moving in the pool. And then you want to reconnect the hose to the hose coming out of the skimmer. And you're all set here. So you may have to play with the regulator valve to get the proper suction in the skimmer. If you're not getting the proper suction, you can go ahead and close it to increase the suction. Okay, so then you want to turn the pool back on to check it. You can see that it's right there within the minimum and maximum range. Well, that's the skimmer insulation process. It's also very simple. The rubble cleaner is moving fine. In some cases, if your pool has really strong return jets, you may have to adjust them downwards or towards the center of the pool if you notice that the rebel is not getting full coverage of your pool. So here are two effective ways to redirect your return jets. One, if it's pointing straight out like this, you can actually angle the eyeballs down so the water is going like this. Or if the pool is circulating in a circular motion, adjust the return jet so everything is shooting towards the middle of the pool. Threaded return lines with eyeball fittings, you can simply just tilt the eyeballs downwards. Yeah, snub pipes like this one here where there's no threads at all. They do sell a wire uh, return diverter that points the water down. You can install one of those also. So here are the wire diverters for the snub pipe. Simply insert these and it'll direct the return water downwards in your pool. If you have an older side port skimmer connection, the side port and skimmer may be plumbed directly together. In that case, you'll insert the regulator valve like normal, but then you're going to put this cap here in it. We'll drop this in the skimmer like this, and you can actually regulate the suction, the cap on top here for the side port. And usually if your pool is set up that way, the side port and skimmer are located right next to each other. And this particular setup is only if your skimmer and side port are attached together on the same line. Usually the newer pools will have the side port on a separate line controlled by the valve by the equipment. So that's the installation process of the Pentair Rebel cleaner, either in your side port or through your skimmer.